Hello and welcome! This is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more Wargame Red Dragon. I've done everything in my second turn that I want to do, so it's time to end my turn. Before I do that, there's one thing I noticed that I didn't really realize before, and that is, if you attack in a turn, it's going to expend all your initiative points. Even if you would have had some left over. So an example of that is this Air Cavalry unit. It has five initiative points. I send it into the region, that cost me two. I attack, that cost me another one. So I should have two left over, but I don't. This is also true of my air squadron. So again, two to go in, one to attack. I should have two left over. They're all gone. So I didn't really know that. And I had kind of planned on redeploying my air squadrons uh, to cover, uh, for example, this region over here has no air coverage. Because these guys have expended all their initiative points, I can't give them that air coverage. So these guys are a little bit vulnerable. If we do get attacked here, I don't know if these guys will be able to attack me, but if they do, I don't have any air cover. They're actually going to be a much worse state than they were the last time we fought with them. So I don't know if we're going to be able to hold out. We'll just have to see. So I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Let's see what happens. So they're going to redeploy the air squadrons, and oh boy, they sure are attacking. So we're getting a counterattack here. So... Cohesion-wise, we're the same, 4-4, four, four, so no advantage there. Uh, morale, we have 4 points versus their 3, but they have more points of units, so pretty close. Uh, we need uh, slightly less than they do to defeat them. Now, they have more units in here, so they have an infantry regiment, an, an engineer battalion, a fire support co company, and a. this is the thing that's really going to hurt. They have a attacking squadron, a, a, a strike squadron here. We, on the other hand, only have an infantry regiment and an engineer battalion. So I could avoid the battle, which would hurt my morale and we'd lose the sector. Or I could just stick out and hope for a draw at worst. Uh, I would really like not to lose, of course. Um, what do we have to fight them and what do they have? So we have a fair number of infantry versus them. They don't have that much infantry. Uh, we don't have much in the way of anti-air, though. The only thing that I believe we have are these stingers, and I only have, uh, four guys. So, it's gonna be very difficult for me to actually fend off their strike squadron. And these guys have napalm bombs, if I remember correctly. They do, so this is gonna hurt a lot. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do this, but, uh, we'll try. Okay, we have support. It's only artillery. Um, a recon, platoon. What do we have here? Flame tank, huh? Okay, well that could be effective in an urban fighting. What do they have? Oh, and they have flame tanks too. They have T-55. They have a lot of them too, geez. That's uh, four platoons worth. That scares me a lot, actually. That could do heavy damage to me. So the way that we had fought this before is I held Bravo here. And uh, we had an urban fight uh, going on. These flame tanks could just annihilate me uh, in the cover that we have. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do this fight uh, because I think it's a fight we should try. But we have to realize that we do have quite a bit of a disadvantage here. So flame tanks, that's anti-air. That doesn't really necessarily matter, although it can attack the ground as we can see there. Uh, support, they have artillery. And more anti-air. They have more artillery. So that's going to probably hurt us as well. Um, they've got flamethrower troops. So quite a lot of them too. So flamethrowers are going to be the way they're going to attack us it looks like. That's probably going to be their... what They had a engineer battalion that's doing that. They've got a little bit of anti-tank capability here. Some anti-air capability. Not a lot of normal infantry. So mostly these engineers are going to be coming after, after us with... And then they've got their command vehicles. Very interesting. So if we can defeat these uh, flame tanks, we might be able to pull through this one. All right. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, though. Uh, maybe spreading my men out, depending upon anti-tank de uh, defenses. Uh, it's going to be tough. We'll have to see. So I think concentrating my troops in the middle, uh, like I did the first time, may not be the way that we go here. Instead, what I might do is I might uh, abandon this zone altogether. That would give them four points, deployment points. I just don't think I can defend this effectively. All right, well, we'll think about it. The real problem that we have is just that if they can get close to me, they can hit me with those flamethrower tanks and they can just annihilate my infantry. So 
Here we'll be able to defend against it fairly well, I think. Um, so let's grab our infantry. We do have anti dank defenses. We actually have a fair number of this. The problem is I don't have the logistics company that I had before, so we're not going to have a forward operating base to depend upon. We do have logistics trucks, though, I think, do we? Yeah, okay, so I might need to use those. Let's get our command vehicles out. Um, so I'll put one over here, and we'll put another one over here. I'm not going to put one in Bravo. Regardless of what we end up doing, um, I'm just... I'm, I'm either not going to defend it, or I'm going to defend it very lightly. Not as heavily as I did last time. Okay, so anti-tank uh, guys, we're going to want more of. Now, we have our own flame tanks. So we could go on an offensive to try and drive them out with our flame tanks. We just have to knock out their anti-tank uh, ability before we do that. Okay, um, anti-tank unit from here, because that's going to be able to attack here and here, I believe, anyway. Um, infantry, grab them, put them there. I guess this is going to be the one area that we really try and uh, fight in. So I'm going to grab uh, our anti-air group. Put them there. I could redeploy them somewhere else, but for now, I think that's going to be the, sh the strategy. And then over here, so we've got anti-tank, anti-tank, uh, maybe another anti-tank group here. If we're not going to defend the Bravo, we can try and uh, defend uh, this zone. So, um, and again, it's going to be more open terrain, so the flame tanks are going to have to walk through my anti-tank defenses before they can get to me. So, um, that is going to make this a lot easier. Okay. We had different levels of experience. We group them together now. No. Okay. We'll be able to group them once the fight starts. So put them there. Okay. Let's grab our infantry platoon. We'll put another one here. So that's going to defend the road. These guys are going to defend this area here. And do we want another... We've got our anti-tank unit. Do we want another infantry unit here? I might want to put one here. We defend our command vehicle from the road. That could be good. And I might want to defend the city, but we've got these reservist units. Those might be who we we put in the city. It's an idea anyway. We have a fair number of them. Although if we take too many casualties, this regiment will be destroyed. So I don't want that to happen, obviously. I do have enough to do another anti-tank platoon. Which I may want to do here. If we're going to really put up a fight here, we're going to want to knock these guys out before, before the flame tanks are too much of a problem. So let me grab... I think I'm reading this right. That there's two here. Yeah. So grab these two. Then there. Grab another of the two. Then there. Okay, so... That is going to be most of our defense. I think we should get out the logistics trucks at this point. So we're going to grab logistics truck and we're going to put it right. I'm going to put it in here. That might make it vulnerable to an attack, but I do want it to be able to resupply uh, our imagery pretty well. Okay, so there's that. When this battle starts, I'm going to select that and turn it off for fuel and other things. Uh, and we're just going to focus on uh, getting the anti-tank weapons supplied. I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to put it here. Okay, so we've got infantry over here. Uh, I'm going to be obviously need to deploy more stuff. Um, I mean, really, when it comes down to it, what else do I have to deploy other than infantry? So, all right. So the question is, do we want to try and defend this area? I could put a bunch of these reservist units. They're cheap. Uh, it would cost me 15 times 4, 60. I'd only be able to put one platoon. It's not worth it. So we're just going to leave this to the enemies. That kind of sucks, but... Uh, I don't really feel like I have much choice in the matter. Oh, we don't have a supply truck over here. Grab that, put it there. All right, well, that's a, a baseline of defense against the enemy. We could use our own flame tanks to come after their infantry at some point. I have 85 points that I don't know what to do with. We could get our artillery, although this is, yeah, very expensive artillery. We could get a single unit and just use it to, like, kind of suppress. The problem with rocket artillery is it runs out of ammo right away. So uh, it's going to be a nightmare to resupply. We'd have to get a logistics truck, and then the logistics truck would just run out of ammo, like, right away. So maybe we don't do that. 
Maybe we just pile in some more imagery here. I'll grab a reservist unit. And... Not sure where to put them. Maybe to support these guys. In case they, they try and charge me with the flame tanks. Okay. All right, well, that's going to be all we can afford for now. Uh, I don't know how this fight's going to go. Uh, the flame tanks scare me a lot, um, but we'll just see. Let's uh, put it on um, very slow. We're going to launch. Once it looks like we're launched in, I'm going to switch it to bullet time, and we're going to start uh, working this. So you guys need to regroup. So we'll hit R. You guys, you guys need to unload. Here we go. Um, oh. Need to grab this guy, turn off fuel and spare parts, just ammo. Same thing over here while I'm thinking about it. Same thing over here while I'm thinking about it. Okay, you two need to regroup. Easier to do it while they're in the vehicle. Have you. They're regrouped. Now they might, might not get B there just yet, so have these guys unload. You guys unload. You guys unload. Uh, I'm not sure if I did it or not. We'll find out. <laughs> Bullet time's a little frustrating because sometimes it doesn't uh, quite do what you want it to. Have these guys unload. Okay, these guys are ready to go. Let's put them here. May make them vulnerable to an attack, but may also give us support. Okay, that guy's out. Okay, about over here. You didn't unload as I asked you to. You guys did. I'm gonna grab this guy, bring him back. You're fine where you are. You guys are gonna like kind of move here. The other thing about uh, the infantry is I don't really want to group them up because uh, that makes the napalm and the flame tanks like way more powerful. Okay. And you guys can just stay where you are, I think, for now. All right, I think that's everything that we want to do at the moment. We're just going to pack in more infantry as time goes on. Um, oh, you guys didn't unload. Okay, so let's switch back over to very slow and just make sure everything's doing what we asked it to do. So the vehicles are moving where we asked them to go. Like they are. Okay, we don't have a recon unit in here, um, which we could take advantage of maybe over here. Uh, you guys kind of like, you know, warm up a little bit better, perhaps. Okay. So, how much would we need for this recon platoon that we have? We need 100. I think we stick them over here. So, we're just going to wait for that. Um, let's switch to slow. We've got time to wait. Once we see some action, I'll kind of move over. To be totally honest with you, I don't know if I really need reaction time in this fight. Um, just because of the nature of our, our composition and our opponent. I really don't have a way to intercept anything, so grab these guys. We're going to put them in here. They do have anti-tank capability, and they're also going to give us good vision. Okay, here comes the enemy, and we're going to let them have this zone, if they want it. It looks like they're flame tanks, though, so they had those out there. I See, this is what I was worried about, so they, they couldn't come in here, and they'd have good cover, and they'd be able to start hitting you with flame uh, throwers right away, so that's why I didn't defend this area. Uh, now, if they come along this road, we've got all this territory to hit them, so hopefully that works as I intend. Um, it won't. We could move more anti-tank defenses over here. It seems like that's where they're going to attack me from. Okay. You're still on your way. We could pile in more infantry. Grab one of our reservist units. Have it come in here. While we can. Okay, here they come. There's their... Oh, wow, they have two platoons on us. 
Okay, we've got our anti-tank coming after him. Unfortunately, not accurately. But then we're gonna have to hope. We've got our other anti-tank guys coming. Managed to slow him down a little bit. There we go. Killed one. Killed maybe two. No, just one. All right, let's hit these guys. We're getting in here kind of close. I don't like it. We don't want to let them uh, open up on us. Okay, let's go ahead and bullet time this. Because I, I want to be able to um, get more units out here. So we have the ability to call more infantry in. These guys still haven't unloaded. That's kind of frustrating. There's somebody else that we're missing that, like, hasn't unloaded. These guys haven't unloaded. Okay, let's go back to slow. Okay, so we've got all our anti-tank defenses here. Fortunately, we're just not hitting the guys that are in front here. Okay, the flamethrower tank's in range to actually start hitting us. Okay, they're going after the guys in the... Let's bullet time this. Get these guys out of there. That's both good and bad. Uh, the good is that they didn't go after the uh, infantry in the city. And we managed to kill them all. Now, they have two more platoons here, so it's uh, going to be a little dangerous for us. Um, have this guy go there. Let's have this guy go here. Okay. Uh, did we ever get that one guy out of the vehicle? Yep. Yeah, there you are. Okay. Looks like we, we've done what we can. These guys still haven't unloaded. Unload. There we go. Alright, let's uh, go back to bullet time. We managed to avoid casualties, it looks like. Very pleased with that. Um, go ahead and have these guys come here. And we'll grab another logistics vehicle, uh, a truck. We'll put it in here. Uh, how are we doing here? We're almost out of that one, so let's grab another one. Put it in the same spot. And once they, these guys come in, we'll do the same thing we did before, where we'll just tell them to turn off everything but ammo. Uh, I'm going to grab another cargo truck. Uh, no, you know what? You know what? Let's just hold off. Okay. Bullet time makes it uh, take a little bit longer. Okay, let's go to very slow. And again, we're going to wait until these guys come on. They should come on from this edge, I would imagine. But we managed to get through that without taking any casualties, which is amazing. Those flame tanks could have done so much damage. Um, and it did worry me quite a bit coming into this fight. Now, they do have Bravo. We allowed them to have that, more or less. Okay, here comes the logistics vehicle number one. Turn off all that stuff. So we're not wasting... Um, okay, these guys are on the battlefield now. Have this guy, um, the, the vehicle, just come over here to give us some support against infantry. Now, they don't have that much infantry. Uh, and, and what they have in abundance is flamethrower uh, infantry. So these guys uh, will be able to inflict heavy damage on before they get to us. I may want to back this guy off, just so that this, uh, I believe this is a BMP coming in. It might not be, and I might be wrong. I, I don't actually know. Um, can we click on this guy? Okay, so might not, but they might be able to defeat my armor. So I'm just going to back these guys off a little bit. Okay, we do have a uh, anti-air unit coming in at us. So this looks like the next gr uh, ground for our fighting. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, slow things down to bullet time. And we're going to go ahead and grab some more infantry over here. Um, we do have another platoon that we can depend upon here. So I'm going to grab this this platoon. And we're going to put them in here. And we do have that supply truck. So we will have some supply here for our anti-tank guys. Maybe I get another one in here. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to have to pay close attention. Um, 
And another logistics truck coming in here. Yeah, that one. Off. Okay. Let's go back to very slow. Progress this. So we've got our anti-tank weapons firing. Please hit. Please hit. There we go. Got him. A little overkill, but um, we got it. Not sure what it's buzzing at me about. This truck might be in the flames. Not sure. I'll just have it come out this way for now. It's stuck in the mud. Um, but it might have been getting burned. You know what? I think it's okay. It's okay to come over here. But it seems like the fire is still burning over there. Alright, let's come back over here. This is where the action is. Um, let's get us another logistics truck while we can. We'll bring it in here, because we'll probably run out of ammo fairly soon. Okay, these guys are on the ray. Okay. Managed to do some damage there. These guys are here. Let's go ahead and unload them. And as soon as that logistics trucks, I can, I can see it. I'm going to go ahead. I, I know I'm going very slow here still, but I'm just... Trying to make sure we don't lose sight of anything. These guys are going to be just be ammo. Okay, so now all they have is the flamethrowers. Now we're going to fire upon something different. Okay, now we've got the F5s coming in. This is going to hurt. Let's get out of here with some of these infantry. Because that's going to land right on top of me. We're just going to back off as much as we can. Try and limit the in uh, casualties on our infantry. Okay, they're stunned, unfortunately. Uh, we're probably going to lose these guys. Doing my best to get them out of there. We may just have to regroup. Go somewhere else. Fortunately, here come their flamethrower tanks. Which is... Not good. Um, there's a logistics truck. I think we're just going to go ahead and have it stay back here. Okay, here comes the artillery. Have our, our cargo truck also back off. Okay. So, yeah, we're losing guys because of the flames. Nothing I can do about that. Sucks that they're anti-tank guys. Do we have any anti-tank infantry left? Let's go out this way. We might be able to get out of the fire coming out of this way. And we will break line of sight, I think. Okay. Let's just have them come all the way back this way. Ah. Only have one left. Yeah, that's what the napalm. I knew that was going to do that to me. Okay, these guys are probably fine. Um, unless the fire spreads. The more our rocket artillery coming in on us. These guys are going to keep coming here. You know what? Let's get out of this flames. Um, it's not going to do us any good to stay in it. Now, what they could just do here is just hit me with napalm again. And again, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. So... This is what I was a little bit worried about. And we've got a lot more time... Here comes another one. Okay, so we just lost our anti-tank unit. We're going to take a lot of casualties if they hit us with another strike like that. Let's have these guys uh, fight here. They're not going to have anywhere to go. We just might as well fight this flamethrower tank. Maybe we can get the bazookas in there. I mean, they're hosing me down with flame right now. Yeah, I think we lost this side. I might have to get my uh, command vehicle out of here. So we don't lose it. Yeah, so here they come with all these T-55s. I mean, look how many of they have. They have two platoons worth. Uh, their range is probably such that uh, they can hit me um, 
you know, outside the range of my anti-tank weapons. So, I don't even know if there's anything I can do about it. We'll see here in a second. Oh, they must have hit me here, too. The fire is spreading in the jungle. Ugh. Get in this. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, see, they're hosing me down already. I, there's nothing I can do here. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I can do nothing but run. So, I'm just going to take everybody and just try and run from this fight. So this is exactly what I was afraid of. They can just hose me down with fire, and there's nothing I can do. But as soon as I lost my anti-tank defenses, that was it. So we're going to do the best we can to get everybody out of here. But we're probably going to take massive casualties here. I think my command vehicle will get, get out. As it is amphibious. As a matter of fact, most of these vehicles I think will be able to get out. We might be able to fight the flame tanks in the open here, but I, I just don't, I just don't think so. Okay, let's get our command vehicle going away that we can recover it. And not lose it. Might be the job of our infantry here to fight a delaying action. To try and... You know what, we might be able to get this guy. Have our infantry regroup and try and fight here. Again, we're trying to do a holding action here so that our other guys can survive this fight. And we don't lose too many of our things. Okay, we are hitting them with anti-tank weapons. We might have killed one, I don't know. I mean, I'm doing my best I can to not die here. <laughs> but I just think it's too much. Okay, all these units. And I guess we can go this way? Come on. You have law anti-tank weapons, use them. They might be uh, in shock. Uh, and more, uh, yeah, they're dead. So we just lost all of our units over here. And again, there was nothing I could do about that. Oh, they're going to strike me with napalm as I run away too. That's, that's lovely. Okay, well, we only have these two zones left. Hopefully we can hold out. Um, they still have a number of points they need to get. So as long as we can keep our command vehicle safe by going this way. Oh, we actually have infantry left. Over here. I mean, they're burning to death, so. <laughs> Man, all right. Uh, we've got more stuff ourselves, but I mean, as we've just seen, how effective it even is it? Should we even worry about... Because normal infantry just gets murdered by these guys. So if our anti-tank units cannot hold out, I don't think it means a whole lot. So I'm going to grab another logistics truck here. Uh, put it in. Try and help us hold the line here. But that's what it's going to come down to, is just our anti-tank weapons being able to defend us. And if these guys get routed, that's pretty much that. So I'm even thinking about having these guys pull out and going over here. At this point, they have at least two or three planes. So that's another problem that we have. Now, the important thing is if we can hold this out, as a matter of fact, let's go to normal time. Um, I'll slow it down once it looks like we're going to have a fight on our hands. But all they have to do is napalm me here and I'm dead. Okay, here it comes. Slow down. Okay, our logistics vehicle that's coming in needs to have everything turned off, except for ammo. I'm actually curious why we're firing our anti-tank weapon at infantry. These guys we should be able to knock out. Fairly easily, I'd say. Problem is, it's going to give them sight for their aircraft, and their aircraft are probably going to come in soon. In that case, we're going to take heavy casualties. 
So hopefully these machine guns and what have you that we're firing at them. Yeah, they're already dropping on us. Trying to move them out of the flames, but uh, we just lost our entire anti-tank group. Okay, our anti-tank group, I think, got out of the flames. But now they're in range of these guys. Okay. No, no, we just got 50% of them wiped out. So, I see no option. Oh my god. I see no option here other than to get in the vehicles. And get out of here. We're gonna come over here. Now, if they hit me over there, I mean, I'm just as dead. Where's my command vehicle? Over here. Oh, it's over in the corner. Ugh. What do I do? Maybe we spread out a little bit more? Hopefully these guys inside the vehicles will be safer. Where to go? Where to go? Go over here with these guys. Where's my recon unit? Grab them, put them over here as well. Um, have you come over here. Um, okay, that cargo truck's gonna stay. This one's gonna go over here. I might have to stay and fight now. Unload. Oh, we're gonna get napalmed again. Man, this sucks. We gotta hold this out for how much longer? I don't know if I'm walking back into the flames or what I'm doing. Have them stop. They're not in the flames right now. Here comes more napalm. Going after cargo trucks. Okay. Have these guys unload. We try and do our best to fight these guys. Got artillery coming in, trying to kill my cargo truck. <laughs> We're gonna do the best we can to fight these guys. Back off a little bit. Uh oh. Okay, hold on. I gotta go bullet time here, because these guys are just sitting here. I need to get them out of there. Because obviously there's enemy here. So, we're gonna have them come down this way. Cargo truck too. In this case, I think I'm gonna go d deeper into the woods. I mean, I don't know what, what the hell I'm supposed to do here. These guys are just murdering me. Interesting. The flame tanks have cannons, too. As well as the flamethrower stuff. Okay. Hit me with more napalm. Man vehicles might die. I think we pull here. There's nothing to be gained in keeping our command vehicle in this area. I mean, I have all these points, but I don't have anything to spend them on. <laughs> and we just lost our recon unit. Might fall in range of our anti-tank. There we go. 
Get him. I'm guessing there's imagery out here. No, those are vehicles. Kill them. Alright, you stop. Yeah, they're just torturing me. It's our anti tank defenses. Our anti tank defenses needed to survive there, and they didn't. Okay. I don't know if these guys are just staying there. We get, need to get them out of there. Okay. Oh, we continue to delay. They only need 500 points now to beat me. Get this guy moving. But they're going to come from this direction. Get our anti-tank. Oh, I actually managed to save the... I forgot about that. I, for, I, I managed to save the anti-tank over here. Okay, we're going to have these guys come over. This uh, truck is going to come over and help us supply. We've got more supply trucks coming, so that will help too. Um, these guys need uh, repairs, so let's turn that back on. With one of our trucks, at the very least. Yeah, guys are running out of fuel. Oh, here comes their plane. And unfortunately, I just put all my anti-tank in the same area, so we're just going to get napalmed. Did he not drop? He might not have dropped. My anti-air actually worked there. Okay, bring these guys up. Bring these guys back. Stop. Now we're going to get some vengeance here. Order him, please. There we go. There we go. There's the vengeance. Knock your plane down. Ah, no! Don't kill me! Get out of the burning buildings. Did we just lose all... Okay, I was about to freak out. <laughs> okay. We got them, but they made, them, made us pay for it. We might have lost all our anti-air, though. I don't know where they went. Told them to come over here. Yeah, I think we just lost our anti-air. We knocked down their plane, but we lost our anti-air. Okay. They're going to be coming for me. The important thing is these flame tanks. We need to knock them out. But unfortunately, we just lost the only means I had of shooting them down planes that is so they do more airstrikes on me that's gonna be it hopefully we can get these tanks knocked out before that happens okay they're gonna be in range soon hey okay, we managed to knock one out come on give it to me there we go now there's gonna be more there's nothing I can do about the artillery that's hitting me right now. And it did uh, inflict casualties on stuff I didn't want to lose. Okay, this is... Uh, we only have four minutes left. A little under four minutes. And we managed to survive so far. question is, can we survive... These are just cargo trucks, so that's not important. 
Five a little bit longer. Looks like we lost our one cargo truck. Go ahead and have our, our anti-tank uh, guys come back over here. Let's grab uh, one of these cargo trucks and have it um, come over here. Okay, now they're coming. Here comes Napalm unimpeded. Fortunately, hitting me in a spot that doesn't really matter. Let's just have these guys stay where they are. We did lose that guy, but uh, of all the things we could lose, I'll take that. Oh, this guy's empty. Right, forget that. They're full. Have this cargo truck come up here. All right, so it all rests on our anti-tank. If they have more flame tanks, we're going to take everything we need. Now, I hope we didn't take enough casualties so that we'll lose this unit, but if that's what happens, that's what happens. They want this guy to come up and knock these uh, cargo trucks up just so they... You know what? Let's send these guys out. See so if we can knock out these cargo trucks just to maybe remove this line of sight that's on me. Uh, this may be a dumb idea, but it'd give us an idea if there's anything out here. Okay, what are they gonna? F what are they gonna firebomb? What are they gonna firebomb? Nothing yet. Now you can go back over there. I don't know what I'm shooting at. Infantry, I guess. Didn't drop bombs. Well, now I'm getting fi flame on me. That's a flamethrower. Flamethrower infantry hit me. It might have been the bombs that I didn't. I didn't think dropped. All right, we're gonna use these uh, APCs to go after them here. I think this is what's giving them vision, so if we can get these guys taken care of, works for me. And it gives them stuff to hit with their with their airstrikes if that's what they want to do. Alright. You need to mow them down. Works for me. Get closer. Might be able to I look how many cargo trucks they have. They also have a command vehicle here. Not anything we can do with that. Okay, we're doing good damage here. That's just a jeep. Let's go kill it. I only have three seconds. It's not going to happen. All right. That's that. So that was a mess. That went bad. And that went bad because of the... Uh, units that were against me versus the units that, you know, units on our side versus the units on their side, they have a distinct advantage. So that was a, a big part of that was just me not understanding the one mechanic where, uh, the, the air power can't really redeploy if they've attacked. So we didn't have any air coverage. If I had had air coverage, we would have done, uh, been able to inflict casualties on them. The important thing is, do they have any flame tanks left? Uh, I don't think I can see the details here in this, um, but I they were T-55s, right? I think I I killed them all. So, yeah, all right. That works for me. Now, I don't think uh, it would have mentioned if a unit was destroyed, so I don't think we lost a unit necessarily. So, uh, consequence of drawing, uh, our forces uh, lose one cohesion, their forces lose cohesion. It doesn't appear either side loses morale, so that's fine. Okay. Major, I have the U.S. General Headquarters on the line. Their fleet is in sight of Seoul, and they're about to attack. I'm putting you through to General Cal Galvin. Okay. Well done, Major. Musan did not fall. We are about to uh, reach Seoul in order to cut enemy supply lines. The plan is simple. Capture the port of Seoul and, and secure 
uh, that word and that word sectors before day 10. However, you have to keep hold of Busan during the whole operation. Yep. The Nimitz brings several squadrons as backup, and many support battalions can be deployed once the port of Seoul is captured. Good. Major, given your position and with your knowledge of the front, you'll be supervising the northern landing operation. Over to you. Okay. So it's the beginning of my turn. So that was the only attack that they did this turn. They decided not to do anything over here or over here. Uh, whew, this this was bad. Uh, I may even have to pull these units out entirely because of how many casualties they took out. The engineer battalion, maybe we can keep there. But in any case, uh, again, that was a tough fight there, but we managed to draw it at the very least, and we managed to inflict casualties on the things that were doing the most damage to us. So if we do a counterattack here, we may be able to do some really heavy damage. I'm just going to have to probably pull this regiment out so it doesn't get destroyed but in any case i hope you guys have enjoyed the video this is mouse gunner signing out